We have arrived at one of the factories that will make the replacement transporter foot. About 7% of our cells are replaced each day. The cells in the intestines are replaced about every day because of the corrosion and abrasion. The instructions for making the replacement foot have arrived at the factory. The factory grabs the instructions and reads the first three letters, which identify the first amino acid needed to make the foot. Floating around the factory are transfer RNA molecules. The center is the DNA instructions for the molecule. The bottom is the amino acid building block it is carrying. The factory grabs a transfer RNA floating nearby that has the complementary three letters on the instructions and attaches it to the instructions. The amino acid building block is dropped off. The transfer RNA for the next three letters on the instructions is grabbed and attached. The second amino acid is detached and attached to the first amino acid. The empty first transfer RNA is released to go pick up a new amino acid. This animation now shows the whole sequence. A single factory can assemble about 2,000 parts a second. Many factories can work side by side at the same time as shown in this photograph to assemble more than a million components a second. But let's reflect on the factory for a moment. Scientists are concentrating on nanotechnology, the use of these small machines. They point out the ability of the factory to make any type of part. They call it self-assembly. They predict that in the not too distant future, your body will be able to make its own replacement knee cartilage, for example. The orthopedic surgeon will direct the messenger RNA to go into the DNA and make a copy of the instructions for making the knee cartilage. The patient's own factories will make the new knee cartilage. The orthopedic surgeon will have modified the RNA instructions so that the new cartridge will be constructed on the patient's back where it will be undisturbed. Some weeks later, when the cartilage has been constructed, the surgeon will remove the cartilage from the patient's back and place it in the knee. Now on to the Golgi.